Disgusting. <laughs> I, I have the ick. I feel like this is a new term, right? The ick? The ick. It's like a new... I had to Google. It's like a dating term. But I feel like this is not part. something in the 80s people were not saying, oh, I got the ick. No, and I don't think like so. And, you know, I feel like this is a very Gen Z TikTok. It's a, yeah. it's a very, yeah, it's a big TikTok comment. Yeah. Like, is it just me or does this give me the ick? Like, I got well, the When ick. I was Googling it, because I was like, oh, I don't understand how it's different from like a pet peeve or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like really trying to narrow it down. The ones that I was seeing, I, I was like, I don't get it still. Like, it was like when he's chasing after a coin. <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. I'm like, huh? No, I get that. Oh, it, it's funny. It's like, it, it looks embarrassing. You're like, oh, I have the ick now. But yeah. to me, it doesn't. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Chasing like, I'm like, after a coin? Yeah, if he's like getting a coin. I don't know. I'm like, oh, that's silly. But like, if you were like, chasing after a coin, I'd be like, that's cute. Okay, okay. But it's okay. also like a kind of a joke as well. I know. I think I just am too old to understand. Doesn't this usually like apply to someone who you would have attraction towards? Mm -hmm. It's yes. like you have attraction towards them, but then you start not feeling that way so everything they do Gives kind of ick. makes you sick okay but it's yeah. based but on like we, a thing now aaron and i, I did... or wait no we, we are three of us are in relationships are yeah. we do are we like stepping outside of our relationship yeah. and talking hypothetically nothing tj so. does gives me the ick uh, okay. nothing he does well, no. Aaron doesn't get the ick, apparently. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> to clarify for those who don't... I don't want to icks about our partner. I want to talk, like, icks. Yeah, no, I just... It. I, I so, made mine very general. Okay. I don't want I did too. a coin rolling on the ground or, like, a, them chasing a tennis ball. But also, I think we can talk about broader, like, icks and people. Like, yeah. if someone does this, totally. I'm like, ugh. Like, I don't want to yeah. be around you or something yes. like that. I yeah. think it could be kind of more broad than just dating like, or... You know, coughs without covering their mouth. <sighs> yeah, got the big ick. I'm sorry. That <laughs> happened out of... <laughs> Cover your mouth. Ick. Oh, Ick. Good lord. I didn't think I was going to call Shame. <laughs> Shame. Uh, the ick, I-C-K, yes. is a thing that someone that you're interested in does, says, or is that makes you no longer interested in them. The number one thing, I would always get the ick growing up when I you know, started having crushes on boys. The number one thing that would give me the ick would be them liking me back. <laughs> oh. I'm not even kidding. I'd be like, ew. And I don't know why. My best friend was the exact same way. And we were like, will we ever grow out of this? Like, it's so frustrating. That is so toxic. But it's, it, yeah. No. Oh, I, you like me? Gross. No, I can't help it. Like, something just triggers in my brain where I'd be like, oh, I don't like this anymore. Wait, oh, wait. So it was somebody you did like. A, bu a bunch of people. And then they people. liked you back. Yes, it would or be like just knowing that someone likes you. It'd gives be like you the I, if I had a crush on you for like three months and like thought about you all the which time, happened. blah blah blah, which <laughs> did happen at one point. But then imagine if you were finally like, "Hey, do you want to go on a date or something?" I'd be like, "Oh, never mind. I forget." Uh, it all. Yeah, I don't, that I don't. does make sense. I yeah. feel like that's like that's why we go to therapy. You know? <laughs> yeah, maybe. It's like, oh, let's try to understand why that's a thing. That's deep maybe. rooted yeah. in something. But I don't do that anymore. Like, my past relationships, that never happened. Thank God. Yes. It's the only reason I was able to get into relationships because that I think we're also running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> I think I grew out of it. I really think I grew out of it. I'm the opposite. I think if someone likes me, I'm like, damn fucking right you do i'm a man <laughs> of course you do this makes yeah. me like them more oh but now what if this person is all it's everything's checking off the boxes mike what's your first egg what's my first ick yeah. yeah not jewish i don't know if that's, oh. that's i don't know if that's an ick that's more of just like a, a type like a preference a cultural yeah personal okay. preference yeah and the ick the i mean omar i can already see the comments but like if someone is Republican. Oh, oh that's we got a lot of Republicans. I and I don't discriminate off anyone in any capacity. I look at it as an opportunity to engage in conversation. Uh -huh. But sometimes um I'll meet someone and like they're super nice and great and like they just have those beliefs, okay. But a lot of times, like if someone's like, Well, I just don't know, like I feel like my parents are Republican, so I vote a Republican, like I will have a little bit of an ick, but I also have the ego of like I'm going to bring this person to the fucking farthest left progressive. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. I'm going to spend this first and only date I'm on yeah. with this person. They'll be worshiping Bernie by the end of our conversation. Yeah. Straight up, like <laughs> which Mike can do. Yeah. I've seen Mike turn the most hardcore conservative people into like hardcore just like liberals. We it's, love to see it. Well, sometimes um, it just takes education too. Like, and I feel like a lot of people don't totally. know. Just like reframing, like when you talk about certain topics, not yeah. using the buzzwords that they already have. There anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, not to go down that route, but like. Yeah, if you know you're some you're hanging out with someone and they're super cool and like you're having a great time, 
And then they're like, there's well, no such thing as a free lunch. Or, or they're, they're, they're like, just, I voted for Trump and Plandemic. Yeah, yeah, like Plandemic. <laughs> I will say I posted um, on Instagram asking what people's icks were, and a lot of them <laughs> were just straight up Republican. Oh, like, wow. And I was having a little giggle to myself. I mean, I, oh, that's an ick. it's fair to have differing political views, I think, in like the, totally. since, you know, 2015, maybe things got a little hectic yeah. in, in the realms of extremism. Um, and I don't think people you're like a bad person, but it's a little disappointing if I think someone is like on the same level and then they say some shit. Well, like well, that's what I've heard recently is like, well, you voted for Biden. How are you liking these gas prices? And I'm like, first of all, the president doesn't just like pull a lever yeah. for what the gas prices are like. Second that's all, not how it works. He was our only option. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's like a little bit of an ick. But I, I use it as an opportunity to like, well, explain why you feel that X, Y, Z. and then. Well, do you want to do you believe totally. that tax dollars should be used to help teachers or fund the CEO of Raytheon? And they're like, oh, what's Raytheon? And like, I can go. I love doing that. I <laughs> yeah. love bringing people to the light. So to go off of that, I feel like it's kind of in the same category. The ick for me is like bros, like Saturdays are oh. for the boys. Like if I oh. if my like boyfriend or like a guy I was talking to, I was like scrolling through his old Facebook pictures or something and like a <laughs> Saturdays are for the boys picture, he's holding the flag. Oh. I'd be like yeah. like doing fantasy sports and like Tuesdays is football night. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Like I can deal with fantasy, but it let's, can't let's be your whole specific. life. What is like like uh, Saturdays just like that boys. like bro culture? They like like love. flip cup on a Saturday morning with all your boys and like no girls. Or they allowed. have to have that routine like a babe. I can't do Sunday. Sunday yes. the games on. Yeah. And ew. like wait no, I gotta go out with the guys. Yeah. We gotta go watch the yeah. game. You're gonna do this to me, babe. Yeah. You're gonna take <laughs> away my Sunday. Now you're triggering me. Yeah. <laughs> no, no like, but the so thing is, itchy. I like yeah no. Uh, and, if I was a girl, I'd be ick to that. Yeah, because, yeah. But I am not that. But you want to be Matt wants to be one of those no, guys. No, I'm, enga so. I'm engaged to that person. <laughs> 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 yeah, you are. Patricia's like, nope, I don't know what I'm, I'm always just like, what are we going to do Sunday? Well, she's like, well, the gate. Because well, like, I just feel just... like that, like, outside of that, they don't really have a, not Patricia, but like, uh, like the bros. bros. Like, they don't have a personality. Like, their personality is their bros. Like, bro, what are you doing, bro? Right. And like, they just, like, say bro all the time. And like, all their pictures are them with other men, but yeah. they're straight. Like, it's so, yeah. Like, yeah. And they're just like, bro. It's just like, yeah, know, these are my just... guys, my team. Yeah, they can't, yeah. It they're... also is like a bit of an immaturity. I feel like when you're more mature, maybe just a little bit older, it's like if your significant other like wants to watch a game, it's like, okay, kind of do it together. Or like you can go with them and like have fun with their, think, yeah. you know but what I mean? Like, it's like dude, a I have to balance. go to fucking TJ's with Smitty. Like yeah. it's Thursday mm -hmm. night. We have to fucking do our tequila Tuesdays. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. like commit or communicate like that they're like an adaptable person to like, they, they, they're very ritualistic and they yeah. have their ways. And they need to like, be with their bros. And you kind of see it through <laughs> to the end where he's always going to be this type of guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so you don't like male strong friendships. Is that mm -hmm. what you're <laughs> I like healthy male strong friendships. I don't like when men are like animals. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you. Yeah, that. like almost not like frat culture, but like post. Also, that like gives me the egg. Yeah, like post frat culture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, like if TJ stool. was sitting on fucking bar stool every day reading it, I'd be like, yeah. Ew, oh, yeah, that is. Ew. So that would give you the ick. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, if he's reading like bar now, stool. They're just like douchey guys. Like, I get it and I get why people like it, but like, I don't relate to any of that at all. And like, if a man was sitting there, be like, yo, did you hear what this fucking guy said? Like, uh, about Giselle? <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, uh, don't talk to me. <laughs> that was like literally how Facebook started too. Yeah. It was like rating girls. Yeah. That was how Facebook uh, God, What is it like, hot bar stool babe of the week? What's it called? Smoke oh. show of the week. Smoke show, please. God, I can't. I, yeah, they're like, oh, did you see this fucking smoke show this yeah, week? It's like, what is it? What? I can't, like, sometimes I can't <laughs> believe that Barstool is like a thing that people like look at. And is it I've, still, I feel like Barstool has like branched out so much. It's like, not, oh, yeah, I don't really know. But I just know. that concept even of like having the, the smoke show. I can't even say it. <laughs> that is fucking insane. <laughs> that like you're a bunch of bros following an account, like talking about some girl in a college in Utah. Like, just with like huge boobs. Huge boobs. <laughs> like <laughs> what, Utah, what do you like guys. A sweet Mormon girl. Yeah, like, 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 just fucking hot <laughs> slut. God. Hot you slut. can really probably size up what a dude is like though. If you just like 
the types of bros see who he's following on Instagram too. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like if like he's if just following, fit, him, if he's just following like eighty percent fitness like models, it's like yeah. all right, yo, mm-hmm. he is like guys. You know. They still have the smoke show. Oh my god, smoke show it? of the day! Oh, can we see got it? a day. We should apply, see. Aaron. <laughs> the, the, the one can we see? Can we see? Can we see the smoke show of the day? Come on, you're engaged. Is bro. That a, that's a real bro. Thing? That's a smoke show of the day, bro. Look at her tits, bro. Damn, bro. Look at that ass. Yo, what's her app, bro? Um, I can certainly tell. Yeah, they just post like a ton of pics. But I will remember, like when I was in college, like when I'm you were submitting a girl, both of you guys to be smoke show. <laughs> it would be like, oh my god, like I know someone who was on that, right? But it's like such a toxic culture. I wonder. I feel like some people though feel as though they're above that, and they're just like looking at it because it's funny to look at what. Barstool is posting, yeah. and they're not like actively engaging in it. How do you feel about that? I don't know. I I can't imagine people do that. <laughs> to be honest, to like be like not not that not that they actually are above it, but if they think that they're just like you know, it's like looking at a plane crash or something. They're just like, oh, I just want to look at what this insane. I mean, as long as they don't make it their whole personality, yeah, I'm like whatever. <laughs> Yeah. What gives me the ick are like the type of girls whose like motive is to get on oh. smoke show. Like it once again, all respect to how you want to display <laughs> and share yourself online. Mm-hmm. By all means, everyone's entitled to their own vanity of portraying and being themselves. But I remember when I was single, there would be like girls who'd be like, Oh my gosh, she's so pretty, but then you'd go to her Instagram and you're like, Ugh, this is like She's trying to be Yes, like I don't know. There's some display about their like their beauty where it just it also seems like a girl like you like even if you showed it to a friend like I've met this really great girl and you would show it they'd be like oh oh okay yeah. like, they're almost like they're a little too like it, maybe they like they're displaying their life as if they're like this fitness model but they're sure. not a model but it's like who is this performance for kind of a yeah. thing to be a smoke show yeah kind of like a little like too it's like a little too sensual showing like too much skin and i but i mean that in like a sure. hel- like a healthy way or it's just that was like eh, that's not my type definitely like it just seems like you're 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 you are trying to get you're looking for like attention like something else yeah yes you're not but satisfied I, with like you're not go like you wouldn't post a picture of you like having a nice day with your friends because like right. you're not getting it's the not same the attention aesthetic. from it's that. It's like you're trying to get like a bunch of guys. But yeah. once again, there's nothing wrong totally. with that. But it's just like you're competing for like, like I don't know, this like male gaze in a way where I'm just like, you're just not going to be my type because it seems like you're trying, yeah. you're trying, you want all the guys to I'll like you. Give you the ick. Yeah. That, it just doesn't seem sincere. Well, so, same thing with guys. Like I wouldn't want to date someone who's posting like, shirtless yeah. ad photos on the mirror stuff. Too. Yeah, I'd be like, oh. I mean, when we would be on Tinder and stuff, it's like, like, nope. <laughs> nope. And I get it. These, you know, there are sexual human beings out there who are trying to compete and try to find their perfect match. So yeah. they're getting to a place of where course. they're trying to show off what they're working of course. with. And there's yeah. someone there for them. Yeah. Just for so, me, it's an But like that for me, it was always just like, if I feel like a little embarrassed showing someone who the person is yeah. based on their social media stuff, then that's like my first ick. Like well. you don't want to show your yeah. phone. You don't want to show it to your mom. Be like my new girlfriend. Here's her ass. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like or if they're like not if they have like TikTok like they or something and they're trying to be funny but it's like not funny. <laughs> oh, that yeah. is a big ick. Oh wait. Oh they're, they're, they just think like they're old fun. humor or like oh. a skit. Oh my god. Just I would never with my doggo. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, um, like that girl, on t- the millennial girl on TikTok. Just a gym looking for my Pam. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Biggest ick of the century. Millennial humor. Just zo- the zoom yeah. in, like talking to the camera, just zooming in. It just like, to me, it's like get with the time. Yeah. Like yes. it's very outdated, and it's yeah. But then really I think that Gen Z also like kids would get the ick from like you guys are all like thirty. Why are you making TikToks? Like, do they get the ick from us? Maybe they do, but if you do, maybe they just like hating on us. Yeah. Even Gen though we Z walked so they could and run. the boomers. Yeah, we're just hated on from both sides. Gen X is just floating out there with the flames coming yeah. out of their mouth on TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, just the hottie of the day. I opened my phone. She's a naked girl on bars. Hottie of the day. Just yeah, like also, smoke show. Do you want to be opening up your phone like in front of someone else and you go on Instagram? There's the smoke show of the day. <laughs> Like, no, that's insane. That's another thing is like if a guy follows like all these just like bikini girls, I'm yeah. like, mm, okay, well, that's yeah. weird. Yeah. You know what? I have a weird one that's kind of the opposite about you of an ick is about 
like this is like you know for when i was single uh if a girl like didn't have a lot of like girlfriends to me sometimes oh. was like not a red flag but i was like something's like weird here oh, like i th i find is it that you didn't like me <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> I need to see like a community of like uh of, like like minded people like her. Do you think her. it's because you want to make sure she has a life of her own? Sometimes also? it screams like drama to me, or that if they don't, or that they've like recycled through a bunch oh. of friends and they've ran out of them because there's a history of like instability of them as a friend. Because you okay. know sometimes if there's like a friend who's like they're the types of people who like in their captions like I hate drama. Like if oh, you don't bring God. drama to me. Girl, you are the drama. Yeah. <laughs> if you're putting that on your profile, yeah. drama seems to follow you. You're the common denominator. So sometimes I can tell if someone's ran out of friends or their friend that they're with has never been a longtime friend. Something mm -hmm. I think is like a little yeah, off. Just those captions are a little too like best weekend ever with my day oneers. And it's like you met these people two weeks ago at my house. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. 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 Well, That's so a little what's weird. The problem here. I like to see a girl have a squad. How many how many friends are we talking? Four, like four or five. Okay. Four or five, just like besties. I want to say uh, I like a girl with heads on like besties. You want a bridal party? Uh, well, that's yeah. fourteen. So, <laughs> but that's but what's weird. But once Patricia, again, in every picture there's fourteen girls. <laughs> and I feel like though I'm having to be so sensitive about myself saying these things. These are not uh -oh. blanket true statements. My judgment is very thin, and also this applies to anybody in on whatever type of person or preference yeah. or anything you are. You're always of value, no matter what, regardless of our icks are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. I want to make that clear. Some people have a hard time <laughs> making friends, even though they are like a really good person. Yes. So it's like you can't. It can be an ick, but you also like it's can't necessarily judge them mm -hmm. by, based on that. This podcast is sponsored by Uncommon Goods. If you have not finished your holiday shopping yet, do not panic because we have the secret source for incredible original gifts, and that is Uncommon Goods. UncommonGoods.com is the absolute best gifts for everyone in your life. We're talking moms, dads, teens, in-laws, besties, your one and only. And it's not just stuff you can find anywhere. Uncommon Goods has unique and creative gifts, often handmade by independent artists and makers. So skip the gifts that scream last minute and find something truly original at uncommongoods.com. I actually just bought my parents' Christmas gifts from Uncommon Goods. <laughs> and you can search literally anything like kitchen decor, sports teams, clothing, jewelry, literally everything. And it's it's fun because it is actually very uncommon things that you wouldn't find at just like a regular store you would go to or like an end cap at a store that maybe has like, you know, gifts for men, gifts for women. And it's all categorized too. So like for mom, grandma, daughter, or friend, whatever, it's all there and it's all super, super convenient. And there's so much on there. And you're going to show up everyone else that buys the gifts that everyone mm -hmm. else is getting. And it's like, oh, you got me the thing that everyone else has. But with uncommon common goods you really could get something that is unique and original yeah and uncommon goods looks for products that are high quality unique and often handmade or made in the u.s they have the most meaningful out of the ordinary gifts anywhere and if you're looking for a gift that you don't have to worry about getting lost in the mail uncommon experiences are more than just virtual classes they're unexpected opportunities to have fun and connect in new ways from tarot card readings lunar astrology cooking mixology classes crafts gardening and so much more from art and jewelry to kitchen, home, and bar, Uncommon Goods has something for everyone. And it's not the same lackluster gifts you could find just about anywhere. Yeah. And with every purchase from Uncommon Goods, they give back $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. And they've donated more than $2.5 million to date. To get 15% off your next gift, go to uncommongoods.com slash good. That's uncommongoods.com slash good for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. Uncommon Goods. We're all out of the ordinary. But... Um, Nick, for me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Men in flip flops. <laughs> Men Ooh. in flip flops. Really? I hate like a <laughs> like a thong flip flop. If I see a man walking in a thong flip flop, I'm like, mm, no. Really? Is it the toes? I don't like the toes. I don't like wear a slide. That's fine. I don't Toes are still visible. like the flip flop. It it just like looks embarrassing. They're like, do you think that, this is, there you go. There's the name. Like, yeah. Do you think the flip flop will ever come back? I think the flip flop's alive and well. Yeah, I don't oh, think it's but not. just the flip flop in general is for you and Ick. 
on men specifically. God, like, you should go to the UT watch party at, yep. at just in case there's this dude that walks around <laughs> and he's in great shape, but he's obviously like right when you see him, you go, this dude is trying to be Matthew McConaughey. He has <laughs> surfer, like, you know, like uh, uh, <laughs> highlighted like beach blonde hair. He wears a white button up uh, uh, swimsuit like board shorts yes. and flip flops. No. And he's going around act like he's <laughs> trying to be Matthew McConaughey. Is that because and Matthew McConaughey went to UT? Yes. Did and he? I think he's trying to hit on women who are like, oh my god this is my Matthew McConaughey. Oh my god. And it's like down to the fucking to you and he gives me the biggest ick yeah. in the it's world. It's just like the sound. Ugh. I'm like, you're a man. What about like around the house like house shoes for flip flops? Flip flops is your house shoe? I'm just asking. Get a slipper. Yeah. Okay. Get well, what about in the croc. summer? What about in the summer when it's hot? Or, or the Birkenstock ones that are open yep. toe. Those okay. are fine. That's what I wear. I don't like a a thong. Yeah, the flip flop. It's just like the noise. You're like the yeah, hey the guys. slaps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I agree. Yeah. So TJ does not own any no. flip flops. No, they've been thrown away. <laughs> no, I also feel like he doesn't like it. Like he doesn't like. No. We should bring mop flops back. Do you remember what those? What are mop that? flops? They were like flip flops, but you tied all like the the, spa, oh, the strips of fabric around. Oh my god! Yes. And the cheer cheerleaders would like wear them. Mop yes. flops. Wait, they look like it's pom poms. Like vaguely coming to me. I so have you to buy look it up some later. like fabric, some colored fabric. Yes. You cut them out like in little strips, like little French yeah. fry looking strips, and then you tie them on to the flip flop yeah the thong like the of thong the flip flop part? and then so then it was just they look like these just <laughs> like rags. Hair, like hair hanging off of it no they look like more like pom poms <laughs> mop flops really not i don't think like i've ever heard yeah, of they're this not. maybe if you type in like 90s oh, here, here. It, oh yeah yes oh my god and scrunchies like that too i've yeah. never seen that in my life those are disgusting when you think about it an ick for me oh sorry no go ahead an ick for me and this is like sexist because it's just men because I do it. <laughs> but if I'm in a car with a guy or even like Nolan and the person is stressing about parking, I'm like, shut up. Oh, <laughs> that's me. That's a good one. <laughs> like but, if they're just like, oh, God, like they're nowhere. Like that to me, I'm just like, get a hold of yourself. Oh, wow. Find parking. Like yeah. it's not that big of a deal. Because if I'm by myself, I'm just fully aware, like I'll find one eventually. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. When you pull up and there's no spots. You would just rather them go, all right, I guess I'll make a left. And you know, like if I'm alone and I, it's like in Hollywood or something, I'll be like, well, obviously I already know approaching the situation. I'm probably not going to find parking immediately. So yeah. it's like, I'm just going to drive around. I'm going to keep looking. Someone's going to leave. I don't know. But when someone's like, oh my God, like, I wish it, uh, I'm like, oh my like God. Matt, been so many you... different situations <laughs> with uh, different people. So I feel like this is a, like, you would do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I said. That is me. <laughs> it depends on what kind of day I'm having yeah. and where I'm going and how late I am. I'll be yeah, like. Yeah, so if you're late, I guess that's like way more understandable, but. But you also, just... you. <laughs> what? You'll just be like in disbelief. You'll be like, I have to park in a parking structure? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Disbelief. Really, Mike? Really? And I'm like, dude, just pull into that. I know, but sometimes I just live for the theatrics. I know, yeah. I, know I, I know. I just lean into like, if I'm going to be annoyed, I'm going to act like I am <laughs> so annoyed. Yeah. yeah. Just to be like, where can it go? Where yeah. can the scene go? I do go? like that about you. You're very dramatic with so stuff. But dramatic. Dramatic. You, it's like a joke at the same yes, time. Like, do you yeah. think that this though, because I feel, maybe this is, I'm misremembering this, but don't you have anxiety parking in front of other people yeah uh like parallel it parking oh that's the but like worst. i said it's i i it's only men if i do it it's fine <laughs> 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 i think Good it's also motto. because i grew up like my dad always drove like if it was me and my parents my dad would always drive and he he was a firefighter so he had like no problem like knowing every road in the city and like parking and finding a spot yeah. i think that's a because strong man yeah i grew up just like feeling very taken care of in a sense of like Oh, here's a spot. Pull in parallel real fast. Let's do it. So if I'm with someone, a man, and I know also, it's so also sexist. Nebraska versus LA. <laughs> no, totally. Totally. There's no parking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's probably a very toxic um, ick. So is it only if, sorry, it, if I did it, would it be no, icky? No, not at okay. all. Only men. I get, yeah. I get icks from. <laughs> no, we're allowed. Um, Losers. <laughs> yeah, we're allowed. I get icks from people who have like too many like personality trinkets in their car. <laughs> oh. Where they're like, oh, this is a this is a reminder of the beach trip I went on this oh. thing, and then they like have like a bedazzled like center thing. Or they, when too they many keep, bumper stickers. They keep like every air freshener oh. they yes. have. Oh just God! Hanging. Enough with the smell. Just enough yeah. tchotchka. Oh, yeah. uh, there's just <laughs> I don't know too many 
little trinkets because they are too sentimental. But like, this is your car. Oh, this isn't like a memory box. Like, I, let's I, clean it up. Preach it, baby. I what, do, do you agree? feel oh like my god. If yeah. I went on like a first date and a guy picked me up and he had like a bumper sticker on his car, I'd be like, <laughs> of anything. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, like <laughs> coexists. <laughs> yeah, no, like shit, like that. Know, I'm like, even... just right, like post it on your Instagram. Like, why are you defacing your property? But what if it said, like, I don't care. What... Choice. I'd still be like, okay, tell someone that. Right. No. Yeah. They like... be on board. <laughs> Maybe those we need. It's another conversation. Up. I would walk by the car and pretend like I didn't see. <laughs> well, I, I'm the I'm, baby. I'm, I'm the with baby. Matt though about like a car. If you get into someone's car, and like. The passenger seat in that front area, you oh, can't cluttered. see the floor because it's just filled oh. with bags and garbage Kicking and papers. Everywhere. Like, and the, and like they just shove water bottles off of their seat onto the front. Like, I am the most judgmental person <laughs> when I get in people's car. I'm like, what is this? They're like, sorry, I feel I'm sorry like about it's the mess. Also, just like a also an indicator of how they live their life, like in their home and other places. So like, yeah. if you were on a first day and you were on a girl's car and it was messy, I'd be like. Probably a red flag. Like, I how does she keep good, her space? I, I always give someone the benefit of the doubt on a first time. Maybe they just got back from vacation. They had a, seven people Six, in their car. Drink 60 bottles of water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like to yeah. benefit, benefit of the doubt, but like I try and keep, I mean, I drove today. I think my car is pretty clean, right? Like there's not. Yeah. The, no, I didn't notice anything. Like but I, I try really and keep nothing in my car. Like, yeah, same. I it's just, also good because then it won't get broken into, hopefully. That's yeah, why I that's don't like true too. Yeah. yeah, here you want to like make sure there's not stuff out, but just oh, like. Yeah. That just that fucking sound of like wiping water bottles oh, off the seat yeah. onto the floor. No, the someone left their water bottle in our car, by the way. Was it me? Probably me. It was a white one. Oh, that's mine. Oh. No, it's not. I have no. mine. Oh, that's mine. Take care. Okay. Well, TJ was driving and he was like, there was this <laughs> rolling in the back seat. <laughs> Sorry, TJ. No, God. but like, I think it's like per exactly that. Oh, the rolling hydro flask is annoying. Yeah. 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 Like, clink, that's like clink. doing damage to your yeah. car. <laughs> <laughs> Dense. Yeah, the other, the other, uh, just on the ick thing, if a girl's bathroom is not like, I don't want to say clean, but like well organized, like I, I don't know. Mine, I try and keep pretty organized, but like when there's just like, used shit everywhere and uh. like it's not like wiped down and like there's just like hair everywhere i'm just like oh, get it see men's bathrooms <laughs> i know i can imagine men's bathrooms are pretty gross i i try and just keep things like pretty clean yeah and like i'm not judging but like i if i go into a bathroom and it's like there's like towels on the floor and like towel hanging over this and s things that are like not closed properly like what how's your toothpaste just open Get, get mine's put open. the cap. Is it? Oh yeah, mine's open. Twenty four seven toothpaste open. Yeah, oh, come on. What kind of toothpaste? I use the one that is still connected to the toothpaste, and you just flip it back over. Wait, oh, what? I love those. The cap yeah. that you just click on, click Yo. off. Oh, it's I'm always a gamble. Camera. I always like when I'm in the aisles of looking for toothpaste. I'm like, I really hope this has the clicky yeah. one. <laughs> and so then funny. I open it, and it's a twisty. I'm like, <laughs> so God nice. damn it! Mine, I feel like if I had the twist, that shit would be unlocked the whole yeah, time. Yeah, I leave it open. Oh wow, twenty four seven. Well. Good thing we're not dating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I use what's the kids one? It's like a pump, but it's like the blue. And oh, the like white double flavors. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was like a crest one. Oh, I don't yes. know if they make it oh anymore. Oh my god, I want one now. Oh, I loved that. I feel like you would know. You're such a nostalgic person. Wait, which one? The crest, the uh, the blue it was ones. Like, it, it was like the blue on one side and then the yes, white on yes, the other. Yes. And when it came um, out, it was a twist. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah no. it's like a pump. But right? uh, no, uh, Hank Green so. also like there was a huge conspiracy about how did it. Oh mix. yeah, how do they mix them? What is the inside? Oh, like, yeah, what is the distribution? It comes out mixed. But it's, maybe it's like a swirly thing. And then he cut. No, <laughs> he, it's like all black, but then it comes out striped. It's really strange. Black. I forgot how he exposed. I don't it. remember, but I do remember. <coughs> or, I don't know. No, Sorry. I want one. No, I just use Arm and Hammer. I'm trying to think of a mo another ick. Oh, oh I, I can't. Some... Oh, I know some people who are like. Who are good singers, but like kind oh of oh like, my god. Maybe they can carry a tune, but they're like kind of reminding you that they can sing. So you're like, or they're uh, like, everybody stop! I'm gonna sing you this song, oh and you're god. just like, a girl has done that to you. Oh before? yeah, oh like god. at a party, and they're like, oh wait, put this song on, and then they'll like put on a performance that nobody asked for. And you're like, and then right. you have and to pay attention. Yeah, and it's not amazing singing. It's not <laughs> terrible, but it's just right there where you're like. 
But this is like in the instance where they think they're doing a they, wonderful yes. performance. They want, okay, okay, they're okay. doing it because they want somebody to be like, hey, you're <laughs> <I> right. <hate, laughs> so, okay, okay, that's okay. what they're uh, doing every time. And yeah, you're just no, like, no, 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 no. Uh, Oh, awkward. This isn't, yeah. Like, what if, like, a guy, like, saw a guitar and was like, oh, I can, I oh, can play this. Oh, let me play Wonderwall. Yeah, yeah. That's, like, too pretentious for yeah. me. Unless they were, like... A professional like, musician. That, or if we were, like, at a campfire. And yeah, if then, it was, like, really good and fit the mood, yeah, right. I think it would be fine. But if, like, but... he turned the music off and was like, guys, I'm going to, like, put on a show, then I'd be like, let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to no. leave. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but man. I do like 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 listening to like a little jam. <laughs> <laughs> but I think like the acoustic guitar is like That's unless you're good. Yeah, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Santa baby, it must be a holiday miracle because the sponsor of today's show, Manscaped, are stuffing your stockings with everything the man in your life could ask for. That's right. This holiday season, Manscaped has vowed to make sure his ornaments are shining bright and his tree is standing tall. Spice up his stocking with gifts he'll actually use and something you can enjoy, too. If you don't believe in Santa, you better believe in this. They've changed 7 million men for the better. Get 20% off in free shipping at manscaped.com using code influences. Ho, 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 fellas. Naughty or nice, tis the season to perform. Manscaped best-selling product is the Performance Package 4.0, which is at the top of every man's wish list this year. Inside, you'll find their lawnmower body trimmer, the, dare I say, best trimmer on the market for his balls, back, chest, and the list goes on, and the Weed Whacker ear and nose trimmer. And let's also not forget their famous liquid formulations, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner to keep him smelling nice down there. And did I mention they're the perfect fit for any stocking? You are getting yourself a deal with the Performance Package order now to receive their two free gifts, the Manscaped Boxers and the Shed Travel Bag. Ladies, this is the gift for you and your man, and trust me, he will thank you. These formulations are all vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate-free, and paraben-free, so you know his manhood is in good hands. So guys, get 20% off in free shipping at manscaped.com with code INFLUENCES. Cheers to rocking the best gifts of all season. A gift for him, but really, a gift for you, ladies. XOXO Manscaped. Sometimes I have this thing about like kind of like aggressive, like... <laughs> hippie kind of people where they're like they're doing everything to tell you how open-minded that they are and they're really into like the crystals and the dream catchers and like the mystics of the world and we're all connected like i'm like i get that but like you they're doing it to a point where it seems like it's a performance trying to define their personality is how open-minded mm -hmm. they are does that make sense yeah, yeah, where yeah it's yeah. like then sometimes some of those people i'm like i don't feel like you're open-minded at all i think you're just like trying to be different and yes. prove that you're different and this is like the path that you've chosen like it's, yeah it's like it's a little aggressive i'm like you can still like i feel the interconnectedness but they yeah. are like just be normal they're using the yeah. crystal ball emoji like in everything oh know? the crystal ball oh, emoji and then an ick off of that is like if i see someone like that on instagram or something or maybe they're just like into the law of attraction or just like something like that and they go to their page because i'm like what is this and they are selling classes Right. on like <coughs> how to do how to really Trans do it right yeah. or like a course oh. i'm like that is a big ick for me because at that point it's like okay seems pretty uh mlm vibes yeah. to me a little mlm yeah i i, I get the like ick that. if someone that is uh, this is tough to define but like someone who just assumes that they have an audience and makes posts as if like hey everybody hope today you go out there and fucking kill it <laughs> warriors like you are and i'm like i did not ask for you to be an inspirational speaker yeah because like that's not what you are like i you, know someone you know, like that that's like hey like, guys and it's like yeah, i mean obviously you can do that but it's like who are you talking to yeah i know is it true that like you can answer your own questions on your story or ask your own questions on your instagram story like so like, oh, like you know people open up like the questions and whatever? they start answering questions but wait do you want me to try because we have a one up oh, right now. i've heard that like some of these Influencers. Just answer them themselves. Yeah, we'll yeah, ask, yeah. They'll ask the right questions. They'll be like, oh, and then they'll be, oh my I'm, god, thank you for asking this I'm question. I'm sure that happens. Or they have another account. That yeah, yeah, they just switch. Oh my accounts. god, that is so losery. <laughs> you, oh, I yeah, thought I you would know that. Yeah, what? but if you no, because I would never. Hey, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it answer. sends, and then you can post that. Yeah, yeah, and then you can post that. So then sometimes these people, people are People do post- it for, like, tea. Yes. Uh, like, they're, they're setting themselves up to talk about something to make it seem like that their audience has been paying that's attention. That's crazy. I saw yeah. one time. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't know that. Yeah, you're just, like, talking to I yourself. I know that? I've known that for, like... A- over a year, maybe Decade. two. I just give everyone the benefit of the doubt. I think they're really answering these earnestly, honestly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I don't know. Like, if I just see motivational speakers, the ones like, that, they're just like, you're so beautiful. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, like, right? I like just <laughs> remember that you are the light of the universe. And I'm yes. like... You work in an insurance oh, no. company. Like, now why? I'm it's... gonna read people's Q and A so differently yeah. now. Oh, like, yeah, like influ- like yeah, you want to be influencers that are. I'm always spotting out. I go, they didn't ask that question. <laughs> there we go. Nobody asked that question. Oh my god, I they're just thought... sitting there talking to themselves. Oh my god, I do them like all the time with shows and stuff. Have you ever thought that with me? <laughs> No, I believe you. It's probably oh, okay. something like very obvious or it's like. Yeah. Where did you get those jeans from your October 2021 post that you. <laughs> oh, let me post like, a photo again. It's yeah, here. exactly. It's like a reason to post something. stuff that they want to post. I saw um, when someone from Teen Mom, her husband, who's like very problematic. They're not on the show anymore. He was posting like messages he was getting from people basically saying like how great of a person he was. Oh. And he scratched out obviously like at the top you couldn't see the username but he forgot to do it at the bottom because it's also at the bottom and it was his username so he literally just sent it to himself what wow a dumb ass yeah. how it, like that's so embarrassing that's so sad it's like so sad it's really sad like the people just like need that validation so much that they'll like i need go to show people yeah even though i said it god yeah that's sad something that gives me the ick is like when people have dirty fingernails. Oh. My fingernails are a little long and I'm sorry. No, and I'm well, sorry. they're not dirty. There's not like mounds of dirt underneath them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. As a I'm guy, like, I know like if you're doing work, sometimes it's just kind of unavoidable. Yeah. And like if you're doing like stuff with, like I used to have to change the belts on my electric skateboard. Totally. The oh, oil yeah. fucking stays there for like a week and I'm just like, ugh. You can't, you have to like literally get like a thing and scrape it out for yeah, like. There's like, I feel like you can tell though. Okay. Whether they're just like an unhygienic person right. or like, oh, they're a hard worker. Yes. Okay. If I'm getting my nails on and they like scrape something out, I'm like, oh, dang it. I know. I know. <laughs> it's That's something like there. both people too. Like if I see girls with icky nails. That's the one my great nice. thing yeah. about having your nails painted is yeah, you don't, you, can't, you tell. can't tell if your nails are clean or dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a nice bonus that you guys get to. But the thing is with these, like, underneath my nails right now, I'm like, gotta get them done. (laughs) Yeah, it gets crazy under acrylics after a while. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Like, doing skincare, you can't, you have to, like, put it on the top of your nail. Food gets stuck in there. Yeah. Yeah. Save it for later. Yeah. Like, sometimes I'll eat Doritos and then, like, my fingernail will, like, stay orange and there's nothing you can do about (laughs) it. Just sucking on it later. Yeah. (laughs) You know what gives me an ick sometimes about dudes who can't handle talking about the female, like, anatomy? Oh. Or, like, if you, like, what we were talking about earlier about talking about your periods. Uh Totally normal things. Like, some dudes who are like, oh, that's yeah, gross. I yeah. I don't want to hear about immature. that. Can you guys talk about that somewhere else? <laughs> yeah. Like, get over yourself, bro. Yeah. It's literally so immature is what it is, I think. Yeah. It's just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, I it's very like, narrow-minded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think with a guy's too, if a guy's like <laughs> refers to women as bitches and they're oh. like trying to be my boy and they're like, dude, oh. let's get some bitches tonight. And I'm like, that's outdated at this point. Or if they go, is she down bad? <gasps> oh, God. Oh, I was trying what? to set this uh, dude up with somebody. And was I, uh, I was like, I go, dude, I met this no. great girl for you. I, I think she'd be perfect. And then he was like, is she down bad? He did this with his hands? Rubbed his hands, looked at me and goes, is she down bad? And then I was like, you know what? I'm not even... <laughs> I'm not gonna recommend no, she's it. Actually You're such good. a good guy, though. Like, yeah. I feel like a lot of people, like guys, would be like, "Yeah, man, she's so down bad." No, I was just like, "This girl seemed like a sweet gal," and I was set. <laughs> and you do not seem like a he good was like, guy. Is she down, down bad? bad? And I'm like, <laughs> it's like not such a anymore. Fuck boy thing to do. It's like a joke. Yeah. Body language thing. When you rub your hands together, if someone's rubbing their hands together slow, it means that they're thinking about something that's going to be good for them. If you're rubbing your hands together fast, it means it's something that's good for everybody. 
What? TJ's best friend. It's like the I've never seen anyone do it. When he laughs really, really hard, he claps his hand together and Who? D- Taylor. He does. It's so funny. And then I was like, I've never seen anyone do that before. And then when I met his parents at their wedding, his mom does oh. it too. But like really fast. Yeah, like, this is like a like if I tell you, like, okay guys, we're going to Disney World today, you'd be like, Woo, I'm so excited because we're all going to Disney oh World. Oh my god, that's such a fun little fact. But if you're like, oh, is she down bad and you see oh. someone rubbing their hands together slow? Low, that means that they're only concerned about themselves. Oh, yeah. It's like when you're gambling. Will yeah. there be Diet Coke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Water. Oh, my God. Well, I love, um, you know, James Gardner. I just was in Nashville with him. When he laughs, though, if you make a really good joke, he like he laughs, but then he like claps. Oh, I love that. But it's the best hard. feeling because he does like this. <laughs> like we achieved it we got to the point yeah. of like where the funny could go and we made it and he's already a very funny person when you get the clap it's the best feeling <laughs> I love that. Uh, it was a good feeling <laughs> i hate when people it's an ick especially in la i think when people are obviously <coughs> trying to name drop and you're oh. like okay right okay like i was with justin yeah uh yesterday bieber you know justin. <laughs> yeah um yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or like when people call Diplo by his first name, whatever it is. Yeah. Just like, what is it? I don't know. It's it's like a weird first name. Dippity Doodle? No, no. Wait, so you're saying his name isn't Diplo? No, he has like a first name that people will see. use. Derek? Dippy. It's something like that. Yeah. And it's like, and Dippy. like, they'll be like, oh, are you going to this party later? And you're like, what? And they're like, oh, Diplo. And you're like, okay. Yeah. I'm not on a first name. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas? Thomas Wesley. Wes, Wes, oh, that's what it is. Wesley when people are Pence. like, "Oh yeah, we were at Wes's house the other oh, night." He goes by Wes. Yeah. Um. Yes, but like people be like, "Oh yeah, we I was at Wes's house last he night." He has three children. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I had no his idea. Name, his kids' names are Locket. <laughs> that's a cute name. Laser. <laughs> Major Laser. <laughs> and Pace. Pace is Paste. Pay- <laughs> pace. Pace or Pace? Oh, Paste. could be Pace. 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 That's a pretty, those are pretty names. I think for a, a DJ, if your dad's Diplo, those are some fun na- DJ kid names. Lock it, lock it. I wonder if Lockett is a girl. Or like, I wow, I had no idea he had that many kids. Uh, yes, name dropping, especially out here, real is... Real icky. It's real, yeah. I, I will sometimes do the bit where like if someone's like, oh yeah, I was hanging out, or I was, and Tom Hanks was there, I'll be like, oh sorry, you dropped this. And they're like, <laughs> what? You dropped this name. Like, uh, stupid, stupid yeah, bit. Yeah, I like that. But... Yeah, that's sometimes though it is. I feel like I do it because I'm talking about like people that we've hung out with, yeah. and then I'm talking to someone who hasn't hung out with them, and I feel like I'm just telling what happened this weekend, but I feel icky just like I think saying if you're what aware I did. Of it, it's you know what I mean. I think if you're oh, aware I of go, it, you feel I like gotta you. brag. I, I <laughs> yeah, set yeah. up like, and I'm totally bragging about this, but I have to tell you. That's, that's a good way totally to do it. I, I say I am aware every time I'm bragging, and when I'm bragging, I say, yeah. and I'm totally bragging about this. This is like, I don't know if this is a pet peeve, but if I was like with a guy and we were going on our first vacation together, we had to get on an airplane, and then the plane lands, and then he <laughs> unbuckles up. right away and stands, and like, you know, we're not even close to getting out. Yeah. Right. Sit the yep. fuck down. No, that's an ick. Where it's are you ick. going? Very yeah. inexperienced traveler. No, it's so like, annoying. It's like, the amount of people who do it on planes, I'm just like, where are you where are we yeah. all going? I think for some people, just to be like devil's advocate, I feel like I feel like for some people they're like, I've been sitting for so long, I but just want to stand. Half of them up. have to stand like this under the I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I'm like, huh? I sometimes will do that. No. If it's a long, long Excuse me. If it's a long flight and I just like the plane stops, like I just will literally just even like go like this just to stretch my legs. I'm not trying to like get out. I wait and I'm sitting until yeah. I see the line moving. But I think standing up just to like stretch your legs, I get that. Okay. But if you think you're getting up the second the plane lands and it goes <laughs> walking off the plane, yeah. like what? Where? What? No, it doesn't happen like where that. Are you, going? you know who gives me the ick? Who? people who take pictures in front of murals. <laughs> Oh, like wings. They stand or... in line oh. to hang to take pictures in front of murals. Like 2016 called. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they want their photos back. Like Coachella, you know how there's that like that frame or that thing people like wait or at ECL it's just they like have very it. Very chuggy. Yes, just go and define your trip and your moment at a oh, festival. Yeah. I love you so much. What the wall oh, in yeah. Austin? Uh, yes, there's all. Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> people just who wait in line for murals. I think 
It's just there are other more iconic ways of capturing your time in yeah. a place than you up against a brick wall. <laughs> the the one at Universal, the wings. The wings. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's we, just like we did a winery tour, and they <laughs> have like this piece of art randomly in the middle of it, and it's just literally just a yellow square that's like a, <laughs> yeah. a picture frame, and they're like, "Oh, do you want to stop and take a picture in the frame?" And we literally were like. Absolutely no. <laughs> not. It's like oh, I'm good. I love taking those types of photos. But like I ironically do it, I, I think I'm doing sure. it ironically, but it is it ironically? Like I'm Ooh. getting the, like when I go to Universal, like I want to get the picture in front of the big like, like if you globe. think it's funny. Oh, the globe is like cute. It's I wouldn't like a wait in line. I would never like the pink wall when I see people waiting yeah. in line for that fucking pink wall. I'm like oh, well, get a grip. Yeah. But if there's like something that is there's no line and it's like somewhat iconic and like cringy I mean, like, you want to pick up in front of the eiffel tower like yeah. those kinds of things like, yeah I get that's that. just like tourist yeah. thing even yeah. though like austin thing i feel like that's just a cute like tourist i would never wait i love you yeah. so much that's actually that one's an iconic yeah. mural I but like when i was in nashville in it. it was just like welcome to nashville it was like nothing that cool but it yeah. was like it was in an alleyway like yeah. what what is an example of one that you think is bad like when there's um, a wall with wings well, and you stand in front of it. A it's wall like, with wings or just like just any like wall. Like, I don't know. Like, is it, give me an example of one. Like in are... I was just in Nashville okay. and there was one that said, welcome to Nashville. OK. And there was a line of people waiting for it. OK. Yeah. If you're waiting in line, I think that's where it's just like you're, oh, if wait, you're, if you're waiting in line. I think it's like uh, that's, that's a waste where of it's time. really silly. The, right. The line has been drawn at the, if at the line. Yeah. If you're Instagram, if you were like talking to a girl. Then you go to her Instagram and every other photo is in oh, front of a mural. Yeah. We're not it's just doing like, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm on a train and she's like, babe, we are not doing that. Yeah. We're going to archive some photos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. It's the most festive time of the year, and HelloFresh is here to help make the most of every moment. From holiday hosting to dinners during busy weeknights, you can count on HelloFresh to deliver fresh ingredients and seasonal recipes. And tis the season for saving money wherever we can. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout, so you can use those savings for holiday gifts or to treat yourself. And quality is HelloFresh's priority. Their ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days, so you know they're fresh. Whether you're hosting a holiday party or just stocking up on snacks, you'll find everything you need at HelloFresh Market. For quick breakfast to charcuterie boards and desserts, it's never been easier to prep for a party or fill your pantry. I will say I don't like cooking. I don't know how to cook, but genuinely with HelloFresh, it is so easy. They literally send you bags with the ingredients for each meal so you know exactly which bag goes to which meal and these super easy little charts of like how to cook the photos it's supposed to look like and the it's pre-portioned so you don't have to like overbuy. do i have enough onions do yeah. i have enough peppers like it's exactly the right amount of everything yeah and it's truly so easy i genuinely get excited when i get a box because i'm like okay i know i'm gonna have a good dinner and i know i'm gonna be able to make it and it's just gonna be exactly how i want it so go to hellofresh.com slash good one eight g-o-o-d one eight and use code good one eight for 18 free meals plus free shipping once again hellofresh.com slash good 18 the number one the number eight and use code good one eight for 18 free meals plus free shipping and now back to the episode I do get that, though, because not everyone is traveling all the time. Not yeah. everyone knows where to go. And sometimes yeah. when you go travel, it's easier to just be like, I know that I can get this photo here. This is my memory of the trip. And like, I get it, but it's not for us. But I also think it's people that like seek it out. They're like, oh, man, we have to get a picture in front of this like wall yeah, because why? they think that it's like cool. But then I think that just that's like the kind of girl that is not for you. Yeah. I don't, and that's the which ick. is exactly which I is love the yeah. like you There's know like a little basic a little chewy oh go live and your like, life if you want to go wait in yeah. line and take a photo yeah. by all means go and do that <laughs> I'm just talking about who I'm rolling with yeah. and we ain't doing that Matt there's yeah. a photo there's a there's a big uh, wall that I want to take a photo of it's only 45 minutes would you come with me oh <laughs> a line 45 minutes <laughs> to get there no no to wait in line would you ever do that with me no no <laughs> what if like. That's funny. The the vampire weekend guy asked you to go do it. Oh yeah, if Ezra Canning is like, "Hey, dude, the yeah. pink wall, I want a photo in front of the pink wall." 
going. Yes. I'm yes. rolling with this guy. <laughs> yes, but I thought we were talking about like. No, no I know. I know. I know. I'm putting... just seeing where you draw the line. What about what I love? Like you know when you go to the beach and it's like pop your head in and it's like a guy oh, with those a beach body. I love doing those. Yeah, those Me are too. fun. Those are like nostalgic. Because you're not like too. doing it seriously. It's like yeah. a silly little thing. Yeah, and I think that everybody is on the same page with that, where they all think it's like funny and ironic. No one is actually like, yeah. oh, maybe we'll trick people into thinking this is us. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, muscles. Yeah. I also think the mural thing is older generation. I don't. I feel like the younger generation doesn't really do that. I feel like like they think it's like, like the basics though. Yeah, probably the basics. Like there's so many places now, like all those like bachelorette places. Everything's just like overdone with like chuginess. Yeah, it's like the only word I can keep. Or like the happy, of. the happy room or whatever those things are called. Yes. Or like the museum ice of ice cream. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. selfie like, museums. Yes. Oh. Yeah. selfie yes. exhibits where the point is not about art anymore. Yeah. It's just about going there to get content for your Instagram. Yeah. And I would just like to say when MySpace was a thing, I had this idea and I was like, there should be a place you can go and you can take amazing MySpace photos. Like a bathroom where you can take a picture in the mirror, a bathtub, you can take it in the tub. Oh, smart. All yeah. the MySpace places. But now, I mean, now it's you know, the whole corner. Now the whole world is like that. I know. So I just like want everyone to know that I thought of that idea That's first. really cool. Yeah. Thank you. Um, Another thing I was like, I get the ick about people bringing up like they're psychic. What? Really? How many people you encounter? Yeah. I had a friend the other day who I said, oh my god, yeah, Patricia and I, we just got engaged, and then it was like this girl who goes, my psychic told me that was gonna happen. I was like, Get this is fuck out of here. Like, this is done. Like, that is... Wait, done. So we had an episode of Scooby-Doo, well, like, <laughs> <laughs> my psychic told me, are you kidding me? It gave me the biggest ick. No. Absolutely yeah, not. Icky. Um, a thing, an ick for me is if he kills animals for sport. Oh, like that's if a good I go one. on his, his Instagram and he's like holding a dead fish yeah. or or like a deer. A, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's yucky. real icky to Yuck. me. Don't like that either. What about fishing? I mean, I, like fishing is like fine, but I don't want to like see, see the fish holding right. a dead fish. Right. Yeah. I have a theory about this why so and i think this is like a trope right that girls talk about guys like have profile pictures with fish yeah. and this is something that you've talked about i just don't think guys take good photos of themselves and their friends don't take good photos of them the only time a guy will get a good framed well lit happy photo is when they catch the fish that's and that's the only good photo of them call. and yeah. that's why there's always but a fish photo a dead fish. but that's but that's the, they yeah. can't that's the only time that there's a photo of them that they like that's look good and they're the call. only person in it's like well yeah. framed i had this revelation the other day i was like Whoa. i think that's why people post that, fish photos yeah cuz like how often are guys like hey can you get a picture of me like, like I'm, yeah. I, need, I haven't posted like in like 2 weeks yeah. so I need something. <laughs> yeah. the lighting's really good is this good right here bro yeah, yeah. 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 It. That kind of blew my mind. Yeah. It makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> I would never swipe right, but I yeah. I hear that. I just feel bad for these guys who like they're trying their best and like you know they don't may, maybe none of their friends do social media or they're just like. Okay, but what if a... their next picture was them holding a dead deer? No, okay. If, they, if they're like a <laughs> the hunter, only time we can do yeah. <laughs> I mean, hunting is like Everyone's a different a animal. I'm like, okay, <laughs> maybe it's not just the picture. <laughs> yeah, hunting is I think a little. Like, if, dude, if you see a girl who's like sitting on a dead lion. No, I'm like, I went into Whoa. a wormhole. There's like this family. Uh, I don't even the know Trumps. how I got there. <laughs> no, it's this woman in this man, and they have like 10 fucking kids. Most of them are adopted. And they are like extreme hunters. Like, every other photo is them like holding the dead animal head up, like with their ew, children. Ew. That's scary. And Ugh. I was like, oh my God, like, I can't believe this. And then, like, is a photo of them, like, cooking the meat. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was r real intense. But ick. it's just, like, it gives me the ick. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, I think when people, like, when you first meet them, if their first instinct is to, like, talk shit about someone else, I'm yeah. like, oh, that's the type of person you are. Or, like, oh. they just have something to complain about right away. Yeah. And they're just, like, you oh, just... Complaining. Yeah. They're just, like, oh, my God, I have to tell you about my day. So, like, Janet, you don't know her yet, but you'll meet her. She's, like, <laughs> the worst. And I'm just, like, bro. It's just draining. What do you say? I don't want to hear about this. Yeah. I don't want to know about this. Like When the complaining becomes a common theme yes. of what they choose and want to talk about and bring to the table, is like 
Yeah, oh, complaining is gosh. just like, and, I'll, and I will be aware of it. I'm like, why is it every time <laughs> you like take the floor talking about something? It's because someone did something right. that annoyed you and bugged you. Like yeah. it's never like oh, I saw the cutest thing today it was right. this. It's yeah. not like these highlights. It's these lowlights. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so a good sad. way to put it. Complaining is just like, or just talking shit about like, well, you know, my friend Jennifer. I mean, she sucks, but like, whatever, I'm still friends with her. And you're just like, whoa, whoa that's like, your best friend. Yeah. Like, don't do that. Oh my God. Yeah. I think for me too, and it, this is like more of like an emotional ick, I guess. Like if I was, if I'm dating someone and I tell them how I feel and then it's like an issue instead of, instead of like addressing a problem, it's like, well, why, I don't get why you feel that way. Why would you feel that right. way? Just missing your feelings. That's like now <laughs> a red flag for me. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that's. I don't know if that's considered a nick, but definitely it's more red of like flag. a yeah. deep like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we should have red flags. I was episode. just thinking that red flags is crazy. Like, I mean, this is like so we have to wait a while. Yeah, to it's kind of similar. This is like the same thing. Well, this episode is also just us fucking being dicks the whole time. Like, <laughs> fuck know. this person. Yo, fuck fuck this. this. I know. I'm so sorry. If you are the way you are, <laughs> you're icked <laughs> out. Um, I, there's like a. I can. Start oh going yeah, we to can pull them up. Yeah, let's do listeners. Oh, let's judge. Let's judge away. Judge away. Or I also said bad grammar. That's a big ick for me. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. Same. God, there was a friend of ours same. who, for five Instagram story frames, this is a dude, <laughs> he posts on his Instagram story, like, he misspelled your, you know, Y-O-U-R. That's like the, the... But no, Aaron, it went off for six frames. <laughs> he kept, he was, it was his friend's birthday, and he was saying your... all his favorite things about him, and he's just like, you know, you're a really hard worker, you know, you're always there How for me. Why spell it? Y-O-U-R. Uh, and and then, but I was like, yeah. yo, on the sixth frame, it's not a typo. You don't know the difference. <laughs> yeah. To the point where I had to go downstairs and show my roommates to be like, this guy <laughs> is so dumb. No, like, is that's dumb. Like, that's like the main thing. It's the your and the theirs. If you can't do that, Bye bye. Yeah, or yeah. two. See you like, two. Also. I'll yeah. understand one like oops, like brain yeah. fart totally. one time. I get it's okay. If I do it. But six frames, five, no. six frames in a row doing it, and then he did it again the next day, and I go, he doesn't know. Oh he doesn't know God. the difference. I saw this girl post. She has really bad grammar all the time, and instead of saying Bill Nye, Bill Nine. N I N E. Huh? Bill Nine. It said it on the, the show. I know. Oh, man. That's His not name even is like three grammar. letters. That's just like, how do you not know? But her grammar, like, is oh. horrible. I now, like, have to double, triple check things, like, on Wikipedia. Like, the other day, remember we were filming a video and you were like, did you Google this word? And I was like, yeah, because I, like, wrote it, but it didn't feel like it was spelt correctly. So, oh. I, like, I always do that. Yeah. But there was one time. I was reading some fashion blogger who was just like, she had like a fashion blog, but you know, like nobody sure. like read it. But she, since she wrote, <laughs> wow, T. Well, the uh, opening line was, now and days. Uh, she goes, now and days, a lot of girls are starting and? to wear it now and days. I'm like, it's nowadays. <laughs> Oh God! Like, now and days. I maybe remember when you showed me a, that. Maybe that was a typo. Now and days. Oh, oh and. Yeah. No, oh. she thinks like she's like heard it. Like, like now and, days. and yeah. days. What are those called? I forget. But there was one we were might as well. Yes, and might as well. It's might as well. Might yeah. or as may well. as well. May as yeah. well, but might as well. Or there's also I also can't stand, but everyone says it. Um, I couldn't. Or oh, yeah. people yeah. say yeah. I could care less. less. It's couldn't care less. Yeah. It doesn't make sense to say I, I could care less. Yeah. Also, uh, for all intensive purposes, <laughs> it's for all intensive. Um, also, um. Can't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, the grammar thing. I feel like some people the just the power vested in me. <laughs> what is people that? say invested? The power invested in me. <laughs> Do people say the power invested I've in me? I've seen it. Oh yeah. Shit, I'm an fish officiant. Have I been saying it wrong? No. Matt says it every time. No, <laughs> I don't think I say the power invested you would not say that power by the power vested. My in friends me. did a cute thing at their wedding when during their vows. How it's just like for richer. Or for poorer, they said for Richard or for poorer. <laughs> That's Got pretty a cute. Laugh. <laughs> That's cute. Um, Sorry, I my thought came to me. Let's hear what people got to say. Okay, and these are icks. People who don't close the toilet lid before flushing then don't wash their hands. That's okay, well, a pet that's peeve. Two separate. Yeah, that's a pet peeve. Ones. Yeah, I will say though, if I were like dating a guy and he never put the toilet down, I'd be like. 
No, no. I think this person's talking about the lid, like the secondary lid. Like off of that. I'm saying like close the fucking toilet. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know why they haven't invented a fucking handle or like an automated one. Like, yeah. It just seems so outdated every time. I'm like, why I am know. I lifting this I know. porcelain fucking thing? <laughs> Someone said stubble is an ick. Oh. oh like shaving? Like shaving stubble. Yeah, yeah. Like if someone has stubble, that's an ick. Mm. I don't really think. That's I not mean, an ick. I don't These care. These are just other people's. Yeah. This girl said guys in flip flops when they're not at the beach. Put the dogs away. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't agree more. Put really. the dogs away. Hockey boys bragging they're better than everyone else on their team. Mm. Men in engineering. Okay. 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 <laughs> what? Just hates nerds. Yeah, I guess. Flexing in a mirror and taking a picture of themselves after working out. Yeah. Such an egg. And sharing it or just for our own personal I documentation? Like personal, it's fine. Yeah. But putting it on like, Instagram, progress. I'm like, okay. Uh, I kind of get it. Sometimes if you get a workout in, you're proud of yourself. Maybe not on the I do feed. Have it, like, be a little goofy. Yeah, maybe maybe you don't take yourself too seriously, but also not on the feed. No one wants to yeah. see. I just feel like it's always and only ever men who are in like extremely good shape, and it comes across as more of a like look at me, <laughs> look how hot oh, and in right. shape I am, yeah. as opposed to like wow, look at how great I look right now. Yeah, like I'm really proud after, of myself. And it's like yeah. oh wow, good job. Are there just like and Monday like when motivation? You're showing me like your sex lines, like ew, yeah, sex lines. Yeah, like the Kendall things. Oh, the V? Yeah. Oh, those are called sex lines? I've never heard that That's before. Like called your like V cut. Yeah, the yeah, V. Yeah, I think it's just like slang. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> when my boyfriend's butt crack peeks out of his <laughs> pants. Also men wearing flip flops. <laughs> it's icky. <laughs> That's very funny, the butt the crack. The butt crack, thing. yeah. Well, I'm done. <laughs> When when a guy posts a TikTok, <laughs> <laughs> um, thinking about guys putting gel in their hair in the morning, I see, can like, see these that. That's I, like, funny. Don't like it's fun. Yeah, I get yeah. it. Though. Yeah. It's just like a little embarrassing to like imagine someone having to like. I, I saw one I, the other day. It was like, imagine your crush like at the airport in line, wait, like shoes off, waiting for a bin. It's like giving me the ick. Just like, yeah, <laughs> just like being a part of like, like an unco- a little bit of an uncomfortable situation. Yes, yes, yeah. it's like a little emasculated. Of, I like, yeah. I standing there holding like... your shoes in a line of people all holding their shoes. The thought of men clipping their toenails, <laughs> people who think they can sing. People talking when trying to watch a movie. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. pet peeve. I oh. think it feels like a pet peeve. My, but like if you were with like a girl yeah. on a date and she just like is yeah. whispering to you the whole time or a guy. Sorry. Yeah, that would give Mike me seems to be bothered by this. I would be, I would stop the movie. If they're just like on their phone or like talking like. like pause. Okay. What yeah, do you want to say? Yeah. Do you want to talk or do you want to watch the movie? Because yeah. there's people on screen talking and if you're talking, I. Yeah. I feel it. that. Oh, <coughs> you okay over there? Wow, lots of guys good. in flip flops, you guys. Really? A lot. Damn, I got a knot. What in the and you came up with that before you looked at the responses, or you looked at the? It response? was my number one thing. Wow, it's that's crazy because like I couldn't. I wrote men in flip flops. Who's like a hot guy that you think is like a hot celebrity? Harry like... Styles. If I saw Harry Styles in flip flops, yeah, like that's an ick. Would be you like, be? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> really. <laughs> Think about Maddie Harry Healy. Styles Maddie wearing flip flops. Who cares? No, it's funny. Young Heath Ledger. I feel like he wears flip flops in a movie. <laughs> but that was like the early 2000s. Yeah, he could like do that. <laughs> like, I feel like he could pull it off. Oh, okay, okay. But like ha- Harry in flip flops, I'd literally be like, Harry. I'd be like, oh, you're so just like a common person. Just going to CVS or something. Yeah, but even people in CVS, I'm like, sir. <laughs> no, but not Harry. Like if I'd people rather... wear if people wear open toed shoes on a flight, oh. people wear shorts on flights. I'm judging you. I literally don't understand how. Yeah, Ugh. barefoot in the because that means that when you go through the TSA. take off your shoe things, you're walking through the fucking airport barefoot. Yeah. Yup. No, I wear Put... socks when I go to the airport. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I wear socks when I go to the airport. Do you, do you fly in flip flops? No, I just like never wear socks, but I wear them when I go to the airport. <laughs> you're, like, not you don't, you're not wearing socks right now. No. Nope. I never do. And guess what? My feet never smell. You don't wear socks? I don't like to wear socks. Huh. I wore socks the other day because my pedicure was like falling off my toes and I fell down my stairs because it was slippery. (laughs) (laughs) The only socks I wear are like Pilates socks and they have grips. So I'm used to like being gripped to the ground if I'm wearing socks. Wow. Interesting. feet kind of give me an ick. 
feet. Like if someone put their feet on me, I'd be like, don't do that. Like hit like bare feet on the couch, just like on your yeah. Oh well, like, TJ, TJ's I can do. But like if you put your feet on me, I think I would <laughs> I be a like, it. like mm-hmm. even if it was like a perfect pedicure and all. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. anti. I'm pretty anti feet as well. Just keep I them think on the that's floor. Okay, that's pretty. Get common. them away from me. Never think about them. I mean, either, but now I'm just thinking about like how her she's not wearing socks in her shoes. And then I was thinking about, yeah, oh, I have one more. Me. Can I say one more? Ick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess this is for both, but more girls. Like, if you black out and just are a fucking menace and like your friends <laughs> need to like take care of you and you're just like, Every time you oh, go yeah. out, it's like a bad, a bad can't handle their alcohol. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just like get it to like get a fucking drink of water People and talk sit down. loud, loud yeah. talkers. Like you're at a restaurant with them and they're just talking for the next table to hear. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up right now! God, I can't stand that shit. <laughs> just yeah, like, like I, you are, I just don't be a liability. You know, I, when you're yeah. out, don't be the one that we all need to be like, okay, are they gonna get home safe? Yeah, but just, even though you should always do that, make sure your friends get of home course. safe. But, but don't be that person that yeah. needs to make the night about them because they can't handle their liquor. There yeah. are so many butt crack, butt crack, butt yeah, crack. Yeah, that's a big one. Jesus, no. I've never even really thought about it. I feel like that might be because it's of the idea of like, a you know, a plumber or a mechanic yeah. or something from like growing up seeing that's them icky. on TV shows. Oh, this is icky. A guy ball scratching during conversation. Oh yeah, they don't oh. even know they're doing it. I yeah. feel like. <laughs> that, I mean, really that's scratch your balls fucking... in front of other guys. Or like yeah. adjust them. They like adjust. In I feel front like of it you. happens all the time, it's, and it's yeah. obvious they don't know they're even doing it. Yeah. Who are you hanging out with? I don't. I can't even like picture a certain person. Yeah. But like, I just feel like it happens. It's all happened the time. all the time. Yeah. Especially huh. in like school yeah, and stuff. No, it's mm-hmm. happened. But it has happened to me a few times with certain people in certain contexts. I've been like, why are you doing that right now? <laughs> Wait, this one literally right says here. people who don't cover their mouth when coughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I need to, I guess, pull my like undies down a little bit if they get bunched up. But oh, yeah. <clears throat> like no, going in and scratching your balls in a. Don't cross the threshold yeah, in the room with someone. Not. What about if someone burps? Or you're like, oh. Uh, I'm literally married to a velociraptor. Really? Yeah, no one does it too all the time. It's honestly, it is annoying to me, but. I think if you were like pass. out in public and like out to eat and they just did it, then I'd be like, sir. <laughs> yeah, like at a dinner table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like time and place, but yeah. it doesn't really bother me. I also yeah. think it depends on who it's coming out of. Like if I love you, sure. Right. If I don't like you, Disgusting. you're gross. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's an egg. Uh, people who watch videos at full volume. Yes. That's, we, is, we talked peeps. about pet peeves. Oh, yeah. that is a pet peeve. But yeah. I, I think that's like a personality trait too. Like, it no, is. You... Inks or people who go, where's my hug? Oh, God. <laughs> where's my hug? Please. And it's always what? the creepiest dude. Yes. So I'm like, okay. Stop. Your hug has been lost in the mail, so. <laughs> <laughs> Not hugging you. Oh, that is an ick. People who sleep with socks on. Oh my god, that's the biggest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I think you can do it sometimes. It's not that bad. But imagine like sometimes feeling a been... sock graze against your like... Uh, well, I won't do it if I'm in bed with somebody else. But like sometimes I, like on occasion, <laughs> have gone to bed with socks on. But I end up taking them off in the middle of the night. Yeah, I've done but that too. I've been so cozy. I don't want to like stretch and get down and do the whole thing. <laughs> you can't do it with the, the both feet at the same yeah. time. It makes you so much hotter too. Like if you take it off, it's like, whew. Yeah, yeah. I know. Because it traps the breeze. heat. In. Yeah. It's like where you wear hats too. Yeah, I wear a cap to sleep. <laughs> no, you don't. No. I only wear a beanie and then the rest of me is naked. A beanie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said guys who like EDM music. Fair. Like, if I got I'm in someone's gl- car and it was, <laughs> I'd be like, no, 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 we're gonna switch it to then midnight. Then you just know like, he's like up. doing Molly on the weekend, yes. he's like raging with his I'm friends. Like, I don't want to go to I've, fucking festivals. I've grown out of EDM. I used to love Thank it. Thank God. Man. Ugh. I don't get how you're ever into it. Not to judge, but. Oh my God, or like my people who is like their whole personality is doing drugs and like Burning Man people. Oh, yeah. That is if someone yeah. goes to Burning Man more than once, I'm like, nah, you ain't you ain't it. All right, folks. Well, hopefully uh, 
Hopefully you weren't too icked out. Hopefully we don't give you the ick. Yeah, hopefully hopefully we don't give you the ick. Let us know what your icks are, though. Maybe you have the ick after this episode, though. If we offended you, I'm sorry. Or you're changing your ways to be less icky, too. Yes. The Good Influences crew. Icky Vicky. Yep, Icky Vicky. You're so icky. The thought of you alone makes me oh so sicky. Is what this is that? Fairly Odd Parents? Yeah. Oh, wow. I was like, that's not an emo song. It's, <laughs> it's not My Chemical Sounds Romance. Like simple plan a little bit. Yeah. My shiny teeth in me. All right. All right. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.